Madison Conklin. It was Martin Luther King Jr. who once said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. College students are tested all the time. They have to manage to balance their education with their personal lives. There seems to be a lot to do, but never enough time. They have homework that they have to stay up late to do. They have laundry. They have to text their friends. They have to stay on the phone with their family. They have to manage to keep their grades up while also doing school activities and clubs and other things. They manage to do a lot. College students do a lot of multitasking, but they have become overworked and unprepared. This has become the feeling that we know as being stressed. Now, what is stress? According to the Oxford Dictionary, stress is a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or demanding circumstances. Stress can lead to many health effects and stress can affect a person physically, mentally, or emotionally. Now stress can affect a pers like, person mentally by uh, causing them to have different personalities such as irritability, anger, hostility, <laughs> decreased interest, and reduced efficiency. Now physically they can result in dizziness, tiredness, trouble sleeping, a racing heart, weight gain, or even weight loss. Now, what causes stress? Stress is caused by many things. It's typically split into three different sections. Your environment, your body, and your thoughts. When it comes to your environment and your thoughts, or your body, I should say, the stress is what causes your body to go into your fight or flight mode. It's also caused by exercise, working too hard, and a busy schedule. Now, when it comes to your thoughts and your life experiences, thoughts of stress usually are caused by major things like death and family problems. However, it can also be caused by unhappiness in your workplace, in your school, or even a performance on a test or an exam or anything like that. Now, stress is very common with college students, and this is because College students have to balance a lot of things. When it comes to school, they have homework, they have school clubs, they have different activities they have to do, and it's a lot. But after class, they may also have a job that they have to work really hard at so they don't get fired. But on top of that, they are worried about their family and their friends. They have to make sure that they're eating enough and getting enough sleep. Now that we know about this, we need to learn how to manage this stress. But first, not all stress is bad. Stress can actually be good sometimes. Usually it's good when it's used as motivation to push us to go farther, to work harder towards a promotion, to push us to study for an exam, or to even push us to run an extra mile. Now, stress is bad when it becomes long-term stress, which is where health issues come into play. Now, how to manage this stress. Stress has many different ways that it can be managed. First, you can keep a positive attitude. If you get enough sleep, if you exercise and eat healthy, however, for some people, this causes more stress. Relaxation and med meditation techniques, such as yoga and stuff like that, are really good too. Listening to music can help some people. Managing your time, so you have to study, but make sure you take a couple extra minutes for a break. Tape, like talking to people can really help as well. Playing games, and some people keeping a diary really helps. And making sure you take a breath every once in a while can really help. However, you should really avoid alcohol and drugs. They're not really gonna help you. In conclusion, it's important to manage your stress now before it hurts your health later. Long-term stress can result in depression, anxiety, and has even been a factor in seizures, heart attacks, 
insomnia, and high blood pressure. Using techniques like managing your time, keeping a positive attitude, and relaxation techniques are really helpful and they can help manage your day and help you feel better. However, what works for one person may not work for you. What works for me is probably not the solution that's going to work for you. So I suggest looking up different things, trying other techniques to see what works best for you. Learning how to manage your stress now is really important for your future so you can avoid heart attacks and terrible things. Thank you. Um, what do you like to do best to deal with your stress? I like playing video games, however sometimes that can cause what do you like? Repeat what she asked you. What I like to do best when managing stress. Um, I like to play video games. However, sometimes that can cause more stress for people. Um, but I also like listening to music and sometimes reading helps. Okay.